What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a Time Spiral Draft here on Magic the Gathering Online. <clears throat> and after this, if you guys are interested, we will be doing... Uh, we'll be playing some Artifact, the new Valve card game. Um, so be sure to check that out. The video will also go up on YouTube after this, if that interests you at all. And be sure you uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons, because uh, Modern Cube is coming later this week, and you don't want to miss those. I know you don't. If you like my content, you probably don't want to miss the Modern Cube drafts, so... Also, funny story, last night Thanos donated $80, and he was like, dinner's on me. And I was like, oh my god, that's amazing. And <clears throat> so we went to, <clears throat> excuse me, it's the first time I've been really talking. For the record, I voted for Arena. <laughs> Time Spiral has a significant number of votes, which is great, because I, I like that there's a large margin of people who don't mind seeing Time Spiral. Um, so I went, me and Mike ordered churches last night, right? And uh, it was like 9 o'clock. <clears throat> It was like 8.30, actually. And um, we put the order in. We decide. We're like, this sounds great. We're looking forward to trying this churches. Because as you may know, we've, we've talked about churches on the stream before. And um, <clears throat> we wanted to... You're not going to play my... Uh, not right now, Sammy. Not right now. I like doing it on... Uh, I like doing them during the day. I also like preparing for it. I have to actually check your deck. I have to uh, get all the cards. I have to load it in. I have not done those things yet. So it's a whole process. Anyway... Um, got a hold of churches, and uh, well, we 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 ordered we went through Uber Eats, right? And so we replaced the order. It it sounded good. We were like, this sounds like some good comfort food. I haven't eaten today. I I ate like, God, it was eight thirty. I probably ate at like eleven or something, something earlier. I don't know. I was starving anyway. And uh, <clears throat> it's like your your order will be here in like twelve minutes, and I was like, oh my god, that's amazing. So got real excited couple minutes later i get a notification that says my order was canceled and uh, it was like 8 50 at this point <clears throat> and we're like well maybe they closed at nine maybe it was just too late so we looked it up no they closed at 10 and we're like maybe the website's wrong maybe they do close it at nine and then the website's just wrong so we went to uh went to the website and called them up <clears throat> and we're like hey what time do you close and then they're like 10 and we're like okay cool got off the phone and I was like, well, I have no idea what the problem was. How about we call them back and we'll see why the order was canceled? Because Uber Eats has to call into the restaurant and then the restaurant has to, you know, give them a reason to cancel. Like, hey, we don't have this or we don't have that. And then maybe we can adjust that and order again. So we went and did that. We called them again, rang for 10 times. No one picked up. Um, then uh, we called them back, rang for 10 times. No one picked up. So eventually Mike was like, I'm just going to go drive there and see what's up and so he drove there and then i get a message from mike and it's like well i figured out the problem they're out of all the chicken and <laughs> so churches had no chicken <clears throat> that was the issue churches was chicken free and uh had never experienced that before so yeah we could not get churches because they had no chicken Oh, a desert. That's exciting. It's not exciting. Sulfurous Blast is very, very good. The, the Thalid deck is also very good if you can get it. <clears throat> we got Thalid Germinator and Thalid Shell Dweller. <clears throat> Maybe the Shell Dweller comes back. Um, Rift Bolt and Snapback also fine. Rift Bolt obviously being a little better. Thunder Totem is good. It's a 2-2 two -two flyer with first strike for three mana every turn if you'd like. Um... Finish the story and now the draft is right. That's all I ask for. Uh, these are also part of a cycle of things that you get to do more of if you do it during your main phase. Sulfurous Blast being a good one because if you have a bunch of three toughness creatures, you can just do it during their turn and save your guys. Um, I'd rather take Blast than Bolt. I'd also rather take Thalid Germinator because I think I want to... Maybe I want to try the, the Thalid deck and hopefully this Shell Dweller comes back. Hmm... I'm going to take Thalid Germinator. <clears throat> and then we're just going to go Thalids. We're going to make a delicious Thalid today, guys. Soul Collector. When it is dealt, when a creature dealt damage by Soul Collector dies this turn, return that creature to the battlefield under your control. That's very good. So is Nightblade Assassin. This is not, is not great. It's okay, but like, suspend five is a lot, and you're probably never going to hard cast it for seven. I mean, it kills a guy, but it does it after, like, a thousand turns. 
Are you recording this for YouTube? Always. <clears throat> Always recording. Uh, Scarborough Tree Folk or Night Nightshade Assassin or Soul Collector. I think I like Soul Collector. There are some slivers here. Sliver, 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 sliver. And this guy kind of wants to be a sliver if you look at him. You're like, come on, you're just a sliver. Who are you kidding? I think I just want the vampire. I think I just want soul collector. It's also flyer, so it's, that's actually pretty good. And green black is the color you want to be in if you're going for um, your boys. Uh, your boys being thalids, but of course there's no thalids now. Sarpedian Empires is okay for three mana. Make a one one. Uh, we can make Sapperlings, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna take the Sarpedian Empires. It's basically three mana to cast and three mana to make any guy. I ain't gonna get by any guy being a one one. Come on, Thalids. See, we said it, and at the same time. Each 1-1 one, one creature gets plus 1, plus 2? That's pretty good. I'm going to take the Germinator, though. I am the Germinator. <clears throat> I want to see open... We actually opened Slivered Overlord yesterday. Unfortunately, we did not have any Slivers that day. Got to dust off the haters. So you're going to be over here because we're not 100% sure on you. Also, this art is not okay. This art is extremely creepy. Let's take a gander at how creepy it is. None of this is none of this is okay. That text is crisp though. I'm going to close you now. All right, so nothing, literal nothing in this pack. And if we were black, if we were blue or white, it'd be great. I'm going to take the tendrils, though. Shrink your head down and put yourself on Soul Collector's Leash. Um, <clears throat> you know, that I might avoid. That I might avoid. I feel like this card almost has genitals on it. Like, it's, it's like, it's a little close. Either way, it's real creepy. We got a Death Spore Thalid. That's good. That's what I want to see. All right. All our, all our picks are pretty okay so far. <clears throat> With four out of six of them being Thalids and one of them being a good rare and one of them being an, a removal spell. Meet again for the first time. Spiral. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh wow, this uh wow, this has negative one point. That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, Dirkwood Bailoth is good, even if we're not playing even if we're not playing beasts, even if we're even if we're not playing our beast deck. I still, we're still going to take that. That guy's great. <clears throat> turn one Darkwood Bailoff is great. The only thing worse than that is if they go turn turn two Thysis. And then you're like, oh, so as soon as this guy comes down, I'm going to take ten. Well, that's unfortunate. And uh, it's basically the worst series of events. <clears throat> oh, Nick, glad to hear it, buddy. Hope you enjoy your chicken Alfredo. I agree, that is quality content. That makes me sad. Oh, Sprout, we can make a 1-1, one, one, boy. Evil Eye of Orms by Gore. Non-eye creatures you control can't attack. That doesn't do what we want. Oh, but he can't be blocked, so, you know. Pit Keeper seems okay. 
I remember Pit Keeper being great in uh, Masters blocks because you could just keep looping your Pit Keepers. Evil Eye of Ormus by Gore was definitely named in a magic time where uh, magic cards just had no direction. Ah, this coming back is so good for us. <clears throat> That's fantastic. That's all I wanted to happen was this guy coming back. Our deck is looking significantly better now. All of these make saprolings. I mean, local places do have the option to do it. It just won't cost anywhere near a reasonable amount. <laughs> it's like, I mean, you could buy a Time Spiral, Planar Chaos, and Future Sight pack, but... I mean... It's not going to be... Uh, hold on. Has Reach and can block creatures with Shadow. That's actually not the worst. But I agree, it would be great to be, be, great to do a, a time spiral draft locally. <sighs> oh my god, the Thalid Shell Dweller number two came back. I like Pendlehaven Elder, but I'd rather just be able to make more Sapperlings than pump my Sapperlings. Oh boy, both of these coming back so says, says a lot. I'm a fan. Oh, we did get the Paradox Haze. In case we don't, uh, we can maybe splash this, get two upkeeps. That's not terrible, to be honest. Oh, double Paradox Haze? Triple Upkeeps? Three Upkeeps. Thalid is back on the menu. That's what I would say if I was an ogre in Lord of the Rings. Discard a card, you gain two life for each card in your hand. Don't care about you. Target opponent chooses a card in your graveyard and you pay black if you do repeat this process because that opponent can't choose the card or you chose and then put the last card chosen in your hand. Shivin, this pack is actually terrible for us. There's like nothing I care about whatsoever. That is unfortunate. <clears throat> boom, 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 boom. Are they orcs, not ogres? Oh, that's my bad. Oh, that's my bad. <laughs> oh, boy. I just want to take the Shivan Meteor. Like, there's nothing in this pack I really care about at all. I guess we can just take a Blight Speaker just in case. I don't know. Well, that's not what we want him to take. All right, that's cool, I guess. See you later. I figured the card I was literally highlighting and grabbing would have been selected, but I guess not. Oh, Vita Spore Thalid. Uh, if you interrupt, you put a 1 1 remove three counters from it, Sacrifice Cyberthink, and gains haste until end of turn. I also like Pouncing Worm. It's a 3 3 for 4, but if you kick it, it's a 6 6 with haste for 7. It's not bad. We also have Mirabo. I bet this comes back because it's pretty mediocre. Prodigal Pyromancer is pretty nice. I'll take the Pouncing Worm. It's nice to have a bigger guy for the late end. Can I kick it? Ah, uh, you can. I don't recommend it, though. It doesn't look friendly. So. Yeah, what can you do? There were a lot of good red cards in there. I mean, ideally, <clears throat> we don't see too... How do I fix the delay issue? Sam, have you tried re refreshing? 
Yeah, Wrathy Trapper's good, but 6-6 six, six Flyer is also good. I mean, I, we just need a way to splash blue. So I'm going to put you over here for now, and then we can play these Paradox Hazes as well. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty funny. <clears throat> Dormant Sliver. Wrathy Trapper. God, there's so many Wrathy Trappers going around. That's unbelievable. And definitely taking Wrathy Trapper here. Not even close. This pack's not great. Uh, there's not many combos, but like it, it's a format where it rewards. Uh, like there's a lot of time. There's a lot of time stuff. You know what I mean? So you have like suspend counters that can come off. There's another variety sport salad, and there's also a giant dusk wasp. But I'm pretty sure the dusk wasp is just better here. I imagine we can get that. I imagine our evolution charm will come back. Um, pouncing worm. I don't think I want a second Pouncing Worm. I think I'd rather just have Dusk Wasp. <clears throat> Which is really a two drop. And this is really a one drop, but... We could take this Vitaspore Thalad. Or we could just splash this as well. I think it's Vitaspore Thalad here. God, that took that took a lot of that took a lot of uh, discipline there. We're not gonna take mutation, we're not blue. <laughs> we're Oh wow, that is a late giant dusk wasp. I am surprised. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. If this is the last card in the pack, I would be thrilled. I'm gonna take the dusk wasp though. Three, three flyers in green are pretty solid. And also, just playing it for five mana is also very, very good. I mean, you gotta figure three twos for four are the standard. Three threes for five are just fine. <clears throat> Extirpate. Remember when Extirpate was like a million dollars? Utopia Vow, Enchanted Creature can attack or block. Enchanted Creature has add one mana of any color. That's terrible. Kavu Predator? How much life gain do we have to give our opponent? Sacrifice is permanent gain three. All slivers have this. I don't have any other slivers. Unfortunately, Sarpedia Empires cannot make slivers. It's one of these two, just as a guy, but... Take the dark heart sliver. Oh, is this the blight speaker? One, two, three, four, five. Is this the blight speaker we opened? It just didn't. We didn't act. We didn't take it, but then no one else did either. That's weird. Wow, and every single card that we wanted is still here. River boa, Vitaspore, Thalad. I'm gonna go with the Thalad though. We're trying to maximize our Thalads here. This deck looks pretty nuts. Oh, yeah, Utopia Val is removal. That's a good point. I actually didn't think about that. This is what I mean about this set being super, super deep. Like, this this draft format was insanely deep. I, like, I don't even know if they make draft formats like this anymore. Where, like, there's so many things. Every card has so many different modes. Oh, I guess we can just get one of these. Okay, we like, there's no one else drafting black or... Is it going on the battlefield? Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm taking the second Blight, Blight Keeper. <clears throat> F 
Fadia Seer. Well, I'll take Radic Mutation. I think it's probably better than the Seer. So, like, this one you can kick or not kick. Two modes. You can suspend or not suspend. Two modes. Uh, same thing with this guy. You can play this as a morph, or you can just play it straight as a 3-4 flyer. This is, a, this is a vanilla card. This is a great removal spell, obviously. Uh, this has multiple modes. I mean, you can choose different guys. Sure. Yep. And these guys do things, obviously. Pit Keeper does a thing. There's like one vanilla creature in my in my deck so far, and it's Scarwood. Wow. Scourge of Courage was insane. You can kill everything at any point in time. Two damage to each creature without flying, or six damage to each other creature with flying. Unfortunately, we are not red, but... That dude is bonkers. He directs cards and loses extra extra from creatures you you control. I feel like that could probably kill us. Again, this pack is not a great first pack for us. I wonder if Minion's Murmur is actually decent here. Like, draw maybe three, lose X, lose three. We have no way to really madness out a Grave Scrabbler. Rap and Vigor could be okay with the number of Thalids that we're going for. Just take Rap and Vigor. I don't like. I don't know what's what's great there. Sporloth Ancient's great because it's not only a uh, Sapperling Maker; it's also a four four, which is just huge, huge. Uh, Target creature plus three plus three. Exile it with three time counters, then it comes back. It's fine. Yeah, we're just taking the Ancient. If I play the Seer, how so? Draw a card and reveal it if it isn't land, discard it. Oh, because you draw the card either way. That's really weird. That's super weird. Yeah, but I mean, like, if we don't play the Seer and we don't have the Seer out, it's literally just a 2-2 two, two for 4. It's not great. There's a bot selling planar cast for 2.5. Yeah, but how much are the other packs? Because I'm just using play points. <clears throat> Don't care about virulent sliver. Don't care about cutthroat little doll. Uh, destroy and enchanted permanent, or you gain two life. I'm just gonna take the exhumer here. Exhumer's playable. Whatever. I'm looking for more ancients, bro. More sport. What is this? three three with transfigure? Yeah, this is a. If if there was ever a, a keyword on a card, transfigure would be the one to put on this idiot. Look at this flesh beast. Sacrifice the search library for a creature card with the same card of mana cost as this creature and put that card on the battlefield. Really? For four mana, huh? It's actually not terrible. You play this guy for four and then you pay three and sack it to search for another four four? It doesn't seem terrible. I want to take the Primarch, though. It's probably better than Scarwood Tree Folk, especially because you can just kick it and it has Convoke, and we have Sapperlings. <clears throat> yeah, Empath is good. I think Empath is good. Man, these. Oh, Nihilith. He believes in nothing. Believe in nothing, Lebowski. Nothing. Yeah, Nihilus is actually just fine. Did they just link you to the Nihilus? That's interesting. How come it didn't say what it is? <clears throat> hey, look at the... <laughs> yeah, hey, look at this dumb idiot. It's actually not terrible. That sounds uh, about right, yeah. Uh, I think it's just Nihilith. I don't know. None of these cards are super good. Like, this pack has not been great to us, except for the second Sporloth the Ancient. Uh, I'm going to put it right here. Right in me pack. Oh, Slaughter Pact is actually great removal that we don't actually have much of. When enters the battlefield, uh, realistic creature company. Sure, yeah, that's good. Um, We're going to take the Slaughter Pact here. 
That seems like a pretty no pretty no brainer. What a pretty no brainer. I'm gonna take this Dark Heart Sliver out with the zero other slivers in our deck. We can bring it in against the aggressive decks, maybe. Nihil of the creature here. I don't freaking know what it does. Yeah, just read the thing. I don't know. Oh, Steam Flogger boss? How fitting. <clears throat> Whatever. Yeah, we didn't get one Sprout Swarm. That's really sad. I mean, I don't know if anyone's really cutting us on Sprout Swarm. Like, it's, if you're in green at all, you just take it. It's very, very good. So this is our 20, I think this is our 23 right now. Also, double Blight Speaker is a, it's a reasonable clock. I mean, you just get to deal two unblockable every single turn, and this is not a fast format. Also, how many, how many creatures do we have that make other creatures? A lot. Like, this format gives you so much to do with your mana every single turn. And if you don't have a ton of mana, you still have things to do. <clears throat> because you can suspend things, or, you know, whatever. Like, it's just... Like, this This is a great format. These are all our Thalids slash creatures that do other things. That's pretty good. Also, we have Pit Keeper, which in this deck with 20 creatures is basically just a, a Grave Scrabbler. Aren't I still Frankless Boar? I mean, I feel like with 10, 10 Thalid Makers, I'm still in pretty good shape to fulfill the Laspor Dynasty. Um, I think this is a Murmurs deck, but I'm afraid of actually just killing myself with it. I could take out uh, Nihilith for it, because this guy's just kind of like a a dirtly idiot. What up, Nosegad? <clears throat> Good seeing you, buddy. Wow, that's a late Fierce Empath. That's probably better than Nihilith in our deck. I'll take a 2-2 two -two that draws us a card. Also, one of these guys... Uh, yeah, that's actually fine. Quiet Disrepair. I mean, that is an answer to an artifact or an enchantment, so I'm okay with it. First winter in my new condo is heating cheaper than cooling. Uh, heating is not cheaper than cooling. Heating is way more expensive than cooling. Usually, unless I'm mistaken. Someone in the chat can... Heating is cheaper than cooling? That has not been my experience. Actually, I'm an idiot. I live in Texas, so it's like, I don't use heat. <laughs> oh. If you cut your own timber, it's cheaper. That's probably that's probably accurate. This is probably the deck. I think we're going to slash, slash Vorash. I'm just going to go 8-9, because I feel like I don't want to, like... We have Tendrils, and I like to keep Tendrils. And even if Tendrils is, like, just 3, it's still pretty good. Being uncomfortable with the temperature is the cheapest of all. <laughs> okay, heating is cheaper for me because I rarely use it. So I think, I, while, while you guys are ridiculous, um, that's a little loud. Um, I think on a one-to-one -one basis, if you're cooling for 10 minutes or heating for 10 minutes, heating is more expensive. Comfort is an illusion. <laughs> Comfort is a social construct. This hand is amazing. I'm going to keep it every day. If you could name a day, I would keep it on that day. I will keep. Uh, 
<laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Surrounding my inch. Da 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 do. <clears throat> Do we play this guy or do we just suspend the wasp? Probably suspend that wasp. See you later, waspy. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> Wrathy Trapperino. I like it. The best use of a Wrathy Trapper is when your opponent attacks with it. That's really all I can ask for. Like how I finished that sentence? That's really all I could ask. For. Another Duck Wasp. So next turn we can go Blightspeaker Dusk Wasp. Or we can miss a Spore Counter and just play this guy. Or not miss a Dusk. Not miss a Spore Counter and just play this guy. Oh, do I just block here? God, I really don't want to just get... Sometimes you just gotta let your Thalid dream go and, and, and win with the good cards that are already in your hand. Oh, I see. You're just gonna kill my guy by dealing it some damage. Well, that's rude. That's likely the rudest thing you could do. So we can actually just play this guy next turn. Suspend and play this guy, and then next turn we get not much, I guess. How'd the Colors Modern deck end up doing? Uh, we lost our first round because of misplays and uh, misbuilding the deck. And uh, if we built it correctly, we probably would have won, and then we won the next three. So we went 3-1, but a technical 4-0 in, in, uh, in spirit. If you guys have not checked that out, do yourself a favor. That was a sweet, sweet deck. as a Modern Colors Control deck. It should be uh, the last video right before this one, actually, on YouTube. I don't actually know what to do here. I'd like to just play this guy, but then we're gonna take four. <laughs> Dollar Germinators here would be nice, the the 05 Wall Arenos. What does this guy do? I'm going to play this guy. They're going to tap it. Yep, that's fine. No blocks. All right, so they're not attacking with this guy, which is good for us. They're also missing a bunch of land drops, so if we can... Alright. If we can make it so... Uh, Captain Picard... Oh, that was such a good hit. That's exactly what we're looking for here. This guy. And we will name Sappy Boys. <laughs> Well, I like all the, I do like all the shit candy. What do you got? Candy corn? Tootsie Rolls? Send them my way. I'll take them. Give me all your candy corns and your Tootsie Rolls. We got some flavored candy. You got an apple candy corn? All right, I'll take that. <clears throat> oh, you tap my wall? I think I'll take five here. I think we can go to eight safely. TSP was first released how the game suspend the haste clause because it felt weird otherwise, but I thought um it's weird. I don't know. I think I think the haste is fine. Because you've already waited. The thing is you've already waited like four turns. Like how much longer do I need to wait for this creature to actually do a thing? 
That is a little. That's a, that's a, that's not a spore counter. That's a black lotus. Put one black lotus counter on this creature. Are you gonna tap this guy down and attack for five? Oh, you're just gonna kill it. That seems good. Well, always a pleasure, magic. Always a pleasure. At least we get our B this turn, and then we get to make a guy, and we get to play a blight speaker. So we get to do a lot of things right here. All of which I'm excited for. Comade handy co candy corn? No, no, I have not. Apparently one more turn. That's factually accurate, but it feels like too much. In the words of the woman in the TV meme, ain't nobody got time for that. Here we go. Here we go. Now we got a game, boys. Make a sapperling, give anything, neg one, neg one. I'm not attacking here because we're at eight, and I'd rather just not die. They will probably tap this dusk, this duck wasp. We can block here and then make this guy neg one, neg one. And then, like, we basically lock down the game. What problem is? Uh, before you do anything, I don't want them to respond to us making a guy by killing this. Oh, Camarid is green. <laughs> sure it is. Sure it is. Of course it is. That's my secret. I always want candy carn. Carn? Candy carn. If I made homemade candy corn and sent it to you, would you eat it? Um, I don't know, actually. See, this is what I was afraid of. If we made a guy, they would go kill us in response. And then we couldn't do a thing. Which is sad. I will choose you. But then they're going to tap this guy and we're going to take three. Is that... I mean, it's just better than... Then. Like, we don't get to block, so... That's sad. They're just killing all of our good things. They've killed two Germinators and a, and a Death Spore so far. Starring Candy Corn has... Yeah, but I eat it, so I'm like, this is delicious. This wax is tasty. So, you know, what problem is? <clears throat> I'm actually fine with the land here. We can play Blight Speaker, and next turn if we hit another land, um, I don't think I'm gonna. Actually, we definitely are in a position to attack. So here you go, get her, get her done. Like Blight Speaker can start getting Wrathy Trappers or other or fellow Blight Speakers. See, like, all of our things do so many other things. This makes guys. This finds guys. This is just a big flyer. This makes dudes every turn. Ugh, man, our deck is great. Oh, old, old henchman. Old, old hench fiend McGee. So they have no cards in hand. They're going to tap this. I might just actually double block one of these guys. I don't want to go to two. I'm not really thrilled about that. Okay. Or we can just single block. Oh, we're still going to two either way, I guess. God, they're really putting the pressure on us here, huh? They're really putting the pressure on, huh? We got another guy here next turn. I do want to kill one of these dudes. I don't think we can actually... 
They have no cards. Next turn they get to tap one dude. Yeah, I'm just going to chump here. Yikes. Our deck is great, but I feel like we're cutting it real close here. Any land would be good, because then we can search up a thing, and... Yep, that's good. So now we can search up a thing, make a guy, do lots of things. They tap down here, and then we still have infinite blockers. God, I, I wish... It'd be nice to be in a position where I can actually start attacking. They do have a strangling set in the graveyard, which is worth keeping in mind. It does cost six, though, so... <clears throat> oh, no attacks. Nicely done. Marathi Trapper. Oh, I'm looking... Camera, it is green. All right. So four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we can play Wasp and still keep up. Yeah, let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. And now it feels like we're in pretty solid shape here. At least you'd think so. Yep. No, uh, no things. No attacks here. <laughs> Saperling is blue. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. Yeah, okay, you have a good day. <clears throat> Until the end of turn, her creature has base, but yeah, that doesn't do anything. Body's a cool dude, but he don't really do what you would. He, he doesn't really do much on this board. Don't be a land. I've drawn enough lands. I'm good on lands. Oh, Shelly. Oh, little Shelly. Yes, please. I think we're looking to attack here pretty easily. They're going to tap a B down. And then we attack with a B. And they can tap something else down. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blockers. That seems like enough. Especially because we're trying to close out this game before we die. Doesn't lose abilities, right? No, it just becomes a 1 1. That's fine. <clears throat> we can also Blight Speaker for the other Blight Speaker as well. Beow! And they do have Strangling Soot in the graveyard, which is worth keeping in mind. However,. We have to close this out before they draw something like Sudden Shock. Because <clears throat> that's no bueno. Oh, that's a big dude. Do we even want to kick it? I might just want him a 4-4 and a 1-1. One, one, or a 3-3 three, three and a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, we'll kick it because we can still keep up Tappage. 6-6 six, six is pretty big. Also, they can just kill it with Soot if they... Uh... Now they can go soot and tap something. So they're probably going to soot this guy, tap this guy, and we can attack. This guy, does have does he have three on him? Yep. All right. That's pretty good. Also, making this base power and toughness of a 1-1, one, one, it still means it's a 4-4. Four, four, so that's pretty good. What are you tapping here? Bird. One, two. Buckle my shoe. <clears throat> they could kill Wrathy Trapper as well. They're probably going to kill this bee. I mean, we're at two. I kind of just want to make sure we have... Like, we could tap down the tapper, which I think is fine, but we're not going to win that turn, so... All right, so B gets through for one. Sure. This 
So you take seven here. Like next turn, we will definitely probably do it because we can likely kill them. Actually, yeah. See, even that it doesn't kill them though. But then it goes. We go. Like, we go to their turn without a trapper, which is not great. Yep, that's what we were afraid of. He did. Not afraid of it, I guess. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight blockers, so. <clears throat> oh, paying costs. Sudden shock. Here we go. <sighs> sure. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And they have six, twelve. Yep, and that's the end. Lucky, 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 lucky. Wow, that was fun. Trump the Domains is a fair and balanced magic card. I want to thank you after showing off your watch a month or so back. I fell down the rabbit hole of 1970s, 80s Russian watches and now I'm... That's awesome, dude. Congratulations. That's super cool. I just began working in a magic records in a record store. Most of the album titles in the hardcore section have magic card names. That's hilarious. Oh, did you hear that new album by Soul Collector? <laughs> it's called Tendrils of Corruption. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Yeah, but that new Swedish band Nihilith is really, uh, I think they're really tearing it up. I created Frank's Reddit account a couple weeks back thinking I'd find a bunch of MTG stuff. Nope, 90% posting in watch forums. Oh, man. I will play first. I will keep this hand. I like nice watches. I don't know. That's pretty hilarious. This card, three cards. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm going to start with the Shell Dweller, because we might be able to just cast the Giant Wasp. <clears throat> I'm not in love with Augur here. It's just a 1-1, one -one, so it dies to literally everything they have. I mean, making them discard 2 is fine. That's what happens, right? All right, so 2, we play a land and a guy. One, we play a land and a guy, and then we're gonna have we're definitely we're assuredly discarding some things. This card just guarantees that on like turn four or five, whenever it goes off, you'll be losing your hand. Yep, that's fine. I always yield to both of these dudes. Ooh, I like a tendrils here. That's an easy hit. I don't really have a problem with doing that here. Next time we can go land pit keeper, maybe something else if we hit it, so that's not bad. Getting rid of a Wrathy Trapper, though, seems like it's going to give us a lot more time than we otherwise should have. Tendrils to life. That's the old, uh, that's the old adage, isn't it? Oh, I can't want to play one of these things. Well, Tendrils is gone. I might just be Pouncing Worm here. It's probably better to have the 3-3 on board than this guy, right? Well, might as well cast you. Man, making us discard two cards here is pretty brutal when they have six cards in hand. He's like, alright, I'll Strangling Sit this guy, and now you have a Thalid Shell Dweller on the board. To the surprise of no one. Yep. This is pretty bad. Man, I thought our deck was really good, too.
There's actually an old Russian watch company uh, that made watches for you know the Cold War and stuff. It's called Vostok. And the funny thing about Vostok watches is that they look really cheaply made. Um, but they actually are extremely resilient. Are you going to make me discard during map keep? Are they going to piracy charm me? Because this is this is this would be sad if you do this. <laughs> sure. Oh boy, having a good time. Guess I'll pass because <laughs> I have nothing to do. Grave for Pit? I don't know what that is. I don't even know what Grave for Pit is. Is that a card? Is that a card? Is this loss? Do we get our B back? Is it B time? Oh baby, it's B time. Be yourself. I'm just going to attack here. Oh, Grave for Pit. I gotcha. I thought that was one card. Yeah, that was not. Okay, Grave for Pit. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down here. That did make a lot more sense that way. <laughs> no worries I don't always make sense I forgive you we get through it oh you're gonna oh I see you're gonna make it yeah that's fine yep oh look at you god you're so good you're so good at this game all your removal kills everything I have and you have all of it every game god what a time to be alive Always yield and always yield to both of you. I mean, I'm just going to play every land I draw because. What, are you going to make me discard it? No. I mean, despite them having four cards and a uh, strangling suit in their graveyard, I feel like we're doing okay here. Sure. That guy can't even attack here. The best is when you get these guys uh, staggered in such a way that there's one counter on one, two counters on another, and three counters on the other. And then you just get to uh, make a guy every single turn. But now we get to do that anyway, so that's pretty cool. Here's hoping they don't have Sulfurous. If they had, like, Sulfurous Blast, it just doesn't make sense. They kill their own guys, too. Uh, would you like to pay two or would you like to pay zero? I'll pay zero. That's a good choice. Solid choice. Watching 40 minutes and finally got a what a time to be alive. Good. Glad I could finally, uh, glad I could fulfill that desire for you. Camerid is green. Don't you guys understand? I'm a people person. All right, now we'll keep it because I don't even care. Can't rain all the time. Well, that's a quote from the crow. They got four cards in hand. Are they, both, are they five drops and six drops? I don't understand what's going on here. 
I thought the camera in was wide. <laughs> Oh, that's gas, dude. Oh, good. Pro Red. They are going to wipe the board here. Fantastic. Give this guy 0-1. Oh, one oh, one damage to each creature without flying. <sighs> cool. This is really stupid. I'm having a good time. Why didn't you... Oh, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, good. It deals another one after after it dies. Hooray. Hooray. This guy... This and this just kill anything on board, so it's not even... They can attack with both of these and kill the Ancient with whichever one they choose. <sighs> Despite being at 22, I don't actually see why we win this game. Slaughter Pack can't even kill this guy, so that's not an out. I like that they didn't pump the other guy, even though they have a free red mana. That's nice. Do you have a thing? Can you play something for one red? Is there a one red card in this format? I don't know how magic works. This game is something else. Yeah, all right. I'm just done. <laughs> like, you never run out of anything. You have everything at all times. So, <clears throat> what can you do? play first i will keep this hand hopefully we'll have uh i, I don't think we've 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 two won every draft so far 
And I think we're I think our deck is good enough to keep that streak up, but all of these cards we want to get down soon. Like if we get this down this guy down early, we get to deal an extra point. But the the sooner we get this guy down, we can deal three extra points. So also getting this guy down means an extra thalad one turn earlier, so I'm not sure any of those are more compelling than extra 3-3 three, three a turn earlier. However, more lands here would be nice. Despite the fact that we can cast all four of these, I would still like to be able to, to hit my land drops. If you don't mind. If you don't mind, Magic Online. Magic the Gathering Online. When am I playing Artifact? Soon. All right, so you don't want it. You don't want me to hit my land drops, is what you're telling me. Against the second red black deck, I understand. See how you smash after your hands fall off. A classic. Each sliver has sliver cycling. Sure. But my bees. Yep. <laughs> yep. I want to play this guy first because we're going to get the sapperlings in the same amount of time. But I'd like to be able to have a sapperling before I play this guy uh, in order to use the negative one, negative one ability. Maybe that kills a thing. Exhausting. Well, on the bright side, we hit a land, I guess. So <clears throat> they have five cards in hand. What are the odds they have ways to deal with our one ones? Zero, right? got bees coming down next turn oh we can also regenerate any sliver right yeah that's cool that's not an utterly broken sliver ability whatsoever oh first strike now seems good not blocking that guy I'm a sliver can you milk me Greg They did tap out though. If we draw something to kill this right now, like a like a slaughter pact or I don't know what else we have. I guess that's probably the end. A land is good. Ho oh, hum. Ho oh, hum. Ho oh, hum. Ho. Oh. Well, if we didn't miss a land drop, we could be playing Sporloth Ancient here, which would be great. If we drew a Swamp instead, we could play both of these. If we had one more creature out, we could play Primark. Lots of lots of ifs here. Lots of lots of ifs. I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do here. It's probably just Blight Collector. Blight Speaker. I'd rather save this to make it a 7-7, seven, because seven, that seems significantly better. And Blight Speaker actually does a thing next turn, so... I guess we'll just do that. Are we blocking next turn? Probably not, so we might as well attack here, I guess. But then do we block anything? I don't know.
I guess we probably do, because otherwise we go to one. But I don't think we're blocking with this guy, so I guess we'll just attack. This doesn't seem great at all. I think we're already dead on turn turn six. We're dead to to three mediocre, two mediocre slivers and one broken sliver. Is really. We're probably just blocking with blight speaker here. Not ideal is correct. Not missing a land drop is pretty mo missing a land drop rather is pretty pretty bad. <sighs> when it deals damage to a player, tap target land the player controls. Yeah, that's a weird black card ability. I guess we get a bunch of stuff this turn. Alright, so make a sappy boy. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This costs eight, so we can leave two blockers up. If we want the seven, seven. Salm, salm. Make a boy. And then, like, maybe we're okay. We get to block a thing. But then, it, you know, it doesn't matter because they can regenerate it. So it's not like we can start getting their guys off the board. Actually, probably should have kept one of the bees back. Or one of the, the sapperling up to block. Oh, that was pretty bad. I'm not a fan of Greek yogurt in general. Greek yogurt in general is way too... It's too sour for me. I like, like, just regular yo plate. Yo play? Yo plate? You get it. Oh, what up, Chris? Yes... All right, so block here, block here, block here, I guess. Well, I guess if we're blocking, well, it doesn't matter. No, it does, because this guy's bigger. No, wait, hold on. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, block you and block you. And then we can sack the sapperling to give this guy the negs. Yeah, that seems good. Now they got a double regen. We take three, which is rough, because they can probably just kill us with a lots of things. Oh, they didn't regenerate? I feel like Thornwild Archer should have been in the deck from the beginning. <laughs> Boy, howdy. That is one of my key sayings. I will keep this hand.
Jay Willikers. Swamp. Oh, black creature. That's similar to a swamp. Any land I'll take. Any land. I'm not even picky about it. I'm about to bust. <laughs> I agree. Play the colorless deck. Man, it seems like we've made... Mistakes were made. Land. Just one land. Come on. Don't do not do me like this. You know what? That's a fair compromise for an unreasonable shuffler. That's what it is. And this also leads us to the sweet curve of like, hey, this guy has a counter. Next turn, this guy will have two, this will have one. And then if we play this guy, next turn it'll have three, two, and one. And then you get to make a guy every turn, which is really the ideal situation, but... Xanatos, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Also, we're at 467 now. We are definitely trying to climb back up to 500. A bunch of gift subs uh, expired today. So if you guys are enjoying the channel, please feel free to support. And uh, it is appreciated. I stream pretty much daily. I think I streamed six days last week. So, you know, do the right thing. Support your local streamer. Sure. Oh, a 4 2 with Ricci. Okay. A Ricci Creechy, if you will. Well, now our. Now our things are all off, right? Yeah, it's going to be weird now. doesn't matter. We're not going to hit a land anyway. We literally just have two lands on in five turns. That's pretty cool. Yeah. What just happened? What's going on right now? Oh, Brandon with the sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Neon Tokyo... Neon Tokyo Rain, the Neon Tokyo Rain of my heart, gifting five subs. You are, you guys are boss. Are they not popping? Hold on, that's weird. Twitch alerts. Let's refresh and make sure they're popping up. I don't know if they were. It doesn't look like they were. Um. <sighs> I have a pump spell or a spell that deals one damage to a creature. I'm just gonna take four here. You want to? If I gave a dance to every sub, my god, my god! Remember that time we ran into each other at uh, Grand Prix Denver? That was good times. You were much taller than I expected you to be. You should have warned me about that. You should have been like, "Hey, I just want you to know, I'm a tall, but I'm a tall gentleman." And I would have been like, "Okay, good to know." Oh wow, third land! What a time to be alive! Yeah, we should have we should have grabbed some food or a drink. That would have been sweet. Oh, <laughs> my name is Large Brand. I guess that's actually a good point. I did not I did not consider that. That's a valid point. You really lay it all out there. It's I have no one to blame but myself for that. I suppose. Yeah, you 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 weren't really hiding anything. So. Thank you. Oh, the old sedge sliver again. A classic. Exceleris, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. You know what? I'm just going to block here. Uh, Mike has not gotten his back covered. He's at work right now. And, uh, you know. He's working. 
Target creature gets plus one, plus one, and gains trample. Okay. I will sacrifice this and give this guy plus one, plus one. We done here? Good to know. Push it to the limit. Walking on the razor's edge, you gotta push it. All right, so all these dudes get their bros. Oh my god, so many lands. Do we just play the tapped guy? We have to, right? Yeah, we're just gonna do it. It's unbelievable, man. <laughs> Push it to the limit. I feel like Mike B would come into play tapped. You know what? Maybe. so bad this guy does do some things though which is nice make a dude sure I have two sh I have a rift bolt in hand that will make short work of you, idiot. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. You guys ready? Are you guys ready for the rift bolts? Push it to the limit. Oh wow, they didn't do anything. This is good for us, I guess. Thank God. All right, I feel like we're actually in this game now. We can tendrils here for two on this guy. We can just play Sporal of Ancient as well. I'm probably just gonna run out the Ancient here. It blocks quite well, in case you did not know. And also, any third land lets us try to kill a Sedge Sliver. I mean, if we're just going to have to make saps and kill the Sedge Sliver, really. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I'm like... Um... Alright, hold on. We're going to... Do some shenanigans here. Sure. 
sure. <laughs> brute strength. Funny thing is, brute strength would have killed us if we didn't actually give this guy negative two, negative two last turn. So, you got it. Swamp would be great here because we can play two things. I think we just have to. I think we're just priced into Tendrils in here. We could play Germinator and Wrathy Trapper, but what does that actually do? We have to block two of these guys block here and then we have to sack one of them like just lose a guy like whereas we can just block here take three go to two and just let the sudden shock that they always have kill us actually now we go to f a lot more Yeah, that's actually fine. I mean, we're also like five land drops behind, so. As always, block you and take three, go to four. <laughs> oh, biscuits. Germinator. Trapper. God, this game, this game has been obnoxiously uh, grindy. I guess that's what happens when you have infinite sapper lingo, sappy boys. Have you ever thought about getting a friend with the nickname Beans so you can start a podcast called Beans and Frank? I have not ever thought of that. Nor should you. Sappy boys. Oh, a dusk wasp, eh? Well, I think you just play that guy. Keep a swamp up. Pack 
Pass the turn. I wonder what this morph is. Probably something that will kill me, right? That's my guess. It's probably an Acroma. <laughs> Acroma Angel of Fury. All slivers have frenzy one. Okay, well I'm not never not blocking these guys, so I'm just gonna let you attack. Why didn't he tap anything down? Well, he's not a smart boy. Uh, block you. Block you. I guess we'll block you instead, right? But what if this guy gives trample? I don't think he does. Giving all slivers type 1 diabetes is pretty rough. I mean, if they have Sure Strike as their last sudden, sh sudden shock as their last card, I mean, it's not great for us. But maybe they don't. Not tapping this guy is going to be my downfall, I'm sure. Regenerate it. All right, well, that's not going to do it. That doesn't work the way you think it works. This guy's like, I'll move out of the way. I will take none. All right, well, that worked out well. This is almost plants versus zombies. That's actually pretty hilarious. Look at all these guys that get things. Look at these five sappy boys. Oh, Duskwass number dose. This turn, I will tap something. Strangling soot on that guy. Yeah, he's definitely your biggest threat. Solid choice. But I feel like the damage is pretty much done already. I bet it's a Gaithan Raiders. How did I get so good at this game? The world may never know. As soon as I realized there's a Gaithan Raiders, I wish I blocked this guy. But like then we would have taken five and died, so. Oh no, how did we block? We blocked oh we tapped we tapped this guy and blocked this guy. Yeah, that would have been better. I mean I still don't see how we lose here. They do have a strangling set in the graveyard, which is very, very good. I mean, look at all the removal we had to deal with. Cradle to Grave, Fury Charm. Uh, doesn't really kill a guy, though. Assassinate, Big Game Hunter, Strangling Soot. 
Strangling set number two. Killing a killing one of those dudes. Um No. I say nay. Oh god, I keep not tapping things. <sighs> That's annoying. Can we just win? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we can just win here. And they have one mana up. Yeah, this is fine. I'm just going to kill you. I'm just going to kill you. There's just so much going on in every game. Like, it's really hard to keep up with all the things that are happening. No, it's not hard to keep up. It's just like, if you haven't drafted the set in a while, it's easy to lose track of things or get, like, overwhelmed. Because, like... Everything has so many things going on. Like this guy has like five abilities. This guy can flip. This guy could be anything, and then he's a different thing if you have more cards in your hand. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We're gonna attack with everybody. Is this ten enough to kill you, or should I also ping you twice, good sir? I'm actually tempted to bring in Dark Heart Sliver, but I don't want them to have the ability as well. Uh, Thornwheel Archer actually seems pretty good here. Well, we, they also have like 10 minutes, so we're not like, it's not like we're super low on time. Yeah, they only have 11 seconds more than us about, so. This is not a gladiator format. This is definitely the opposite of a gladiator format. I'm out of juice right now. And by juice, I mean Arizona blueberry tea becomes colorless until end of turn. All right, well, whatever you gotta do, man. Whatever you gotta do to, to keep it real. Ooh, Sarpedian Empires. I'm just gonna play that because it's the best mana usage. I wanna make some car Camarids. Green. And we'll pass here. And then I'll just pour my invisible jug of tea here. Listen to that. Listen to that. Got that juice porn ASMR, huh? I moved to Oregon and it's weird for me to see illegal marijuana cigarette stores all the time. That's funny because, um, you know what? I'll take two here. Uh, that's funny because I felt the same way when I was in Seattle. I was like, this is so surreal. When I first moved to Seattle, I was like, this is crazy. Like, there's just stores everywhere where you can walk in, buy some weed, and leave. That's crazy. What a time to be alive. Swamp. Thank you. I don't want to wait. 
For a swamp to you, Kendra, as I want to know right now, who could it be? Do we invite a sport salad first? Or do we wrathy trapper first? These are the questions. <laughs> He's currently changing the oil in a vehicle. I'm just going to keep taking two because I don't want this guy to die to like sudden shock. And they can't strangling slip this guy, which is nice. Alright, well that guy I will likely block because taking three is much different than taking two. However, Soul Collector is probably the play here, right? Or we could have played it next turn and then blocked and flipped. Ooh, that would have been good. I'd just rather have a 3-4 flyer on the board. That seems strong. God, what a time to be alive, man. I'm so glad to see all these, like, these states legalize it. Because it's, like, it's such a dumb thing to be illegal. Oh, good. my Your, your favorite and mine. I'm going to block here. Oh, am I going to block here? Yeah, we'll block here. That's fine. It is what it is. Okay. I should probably make a guy now. The, th the reason we're making a guy now is because at any point they could sudden shock this guy and we don't get to respond. Oh, this is actually great because we can actually just play Sarpedian Empires. <laughs> That's actually a great bait. The fact that it's not being taxed like liquor is also laughable. How so? What do you mean? Explain that one. How do I feel about the crazy reprints in UMA? Um, I think some of them are great. I think some of them are not great. All right, so here's what's going to happen. We're going to double block here. You're going to kill one, probably, maybe both. Maybe kill everybody. Sure. God, this, having like, you've had these every game. And it's really annoying. Let's not forget to tap things. That's when the game really spirals out of our control. I don't want to wait for these slippers to get older. I want to know right now when can I be? God, first strike and regenerate is so brutal. Like, it's just impossible to deal with. Oh, that's actually a great draw for us. 
I want to keep four mana up. Is that possible? Probably. So we can go. We got to tap four things. Uh, we got to tap this guy too. We can make a guy first. Cast with kicker one, two, three, four, five. And we got to tap three, huh? One. So we can keep that as a blocker. We can tap you, you, and you. All right, that seems fine. We're at 16. Having a 7-7 seven, seven on board is pretty OP. I'm going to tap Data S. <laughs> wow. It's actually called Data SS, and that's more politically correct. So then you can be like, oh. Oh, you're just going to kill this guy? I'm sure. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you? They never don't have it, right? They just have everything in their hand. They just conveniently play it exactly at the moments they need it. Yeah, of course. Why not? Sure. Yep. Cool. <sighs> yeah, that seems good. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna go well. Take six, sure. Oh man, the old double black red decks with infinite removal. I mean, the problem is, like, these sapperlings would actually be amazing if they didn't have both regenerate, which prevents our sapperlings from effectively blocking, and first strike, which prevents our sapperlings from effectively blocking. So, like, we're just, like, in a, like, this holding pattern where, like, we have to draw something big enough to actually start taking guys off the board before we can actually do anything. And it kind of sucks. Like, we're having to chump with, like, three guys a turn, and it's just not sustainable for any long period of time, unfortunately. Also, having a 2-2 with flanking is surprisingly obnoxious. Because you can't really... And these are, like, the, the worst ones to have, because they don't pump and they don't kill. They literally just give haste, which is like, okay, well, that's pretty mediocre, unfortunately. Um, block 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 and block speak of the devil it's your boy Sally McThally I'm going to make one now in case they, again, I mean, Sudden Shock's in the graveyard, so unless they have multiples, we're, it's decent to have. We can also block a 2-2, two -two, but then they just regenerate it. It's, it's so unbelievably broken. Like, this combination of first strike and regenerate is so unbelievably busted. <sighs> sure. Yeah, the Neg1, Neg1 guy is great, and unfortunately we have not drawn them. So all of these guys regenerate is what we're saying here? Seems good. So, we're going to block you, and you, and you, and you. And I don't want to take two, but I don't think we have a choice here. I guess we can just chump. We're going to make two more guys next turn. 
we also have more time than they do so um target himself sack this guy Self sack this guy. All right, well, that's our plan. So, I have no other responses. I can't make guys, I can't give haste. <laughs> Crying out loud, dude. Oh, uh, sure. So, 6-6? Six, six? Yeah, you got it. <sighs> God, did they ever not have it? Ever? Just one time. Just tell me one time where they don't have it one time that's it no all right cool i don't think it's i don't think that time exists god i feel like i'm just complaining like this is the first draft i feel like i've actually just been like unhappy with the entire time which is really interesting it's been a while since i've felt like this uh let's use black mana next turn they don't have it i guess we'll find out won't we next time on do they have it fascinating that they didn't attack with frenzy sliver there okay well 10 lands is pretty cool Oh, strangling soot. No? Oh, they waited. They're like, I'll wait. I ain't in no hurry. We don't seem to have it. That is correct. That is correct. All right. Sure. I mean, next turn we get two sappy boys, three sappy boys. Seems good. Oh, sappy boys. I mean, now we're just on the clock, right? Oh my god, and I don't tap anything. I'm the worst magic player that's ever existed. I guess it doesn't matter. Maybe it matters. It matters, right? Sure. Yep, put them all on the stack. Pass it up. Maybe we just win to time. That would be pretty freaking hilarious if you ask me. Sure. block here yeah because otherwise I'd die so sure 
Yep. And another one bites the... I would love a non-land card here. That would be fantastic. <laughs> Jesus. No, oh, that's not what we wanted to do at all. This game's over. I can't win this game anymore. Forget it. This is so dumb. Like, that was not what I meant to do. I meant to actually activate, and, like, we're just playing terribly, and we have, what, what four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lands, as opposed to their six. <laughs> like, they've drawn six more spells than we have. What are you going to do? Anyway. Anyway. Ah, we might as well play it out. Like, we might as well play it out because you get 40 play points. So, like, I always want to concede because O2, O2 is not really where you want to be, but what are you going to do? I mean, it hasn't been ideal that we face the uh, double black, red, infinite rem removal decks. So. Uh, it's worth it for me. I mean, like, it's 40 play points is half of a draft, so. I mean, especially with cube coming, like. I mean, that's half a cube draft. Shut up and take my money. One shame scoop, Buck. Yeah, I mean, well, it was, it was also like we were less, we had less time than they did. Like, actually, let's get this pit keeper out of here and I'll bring in Thornwield Archer because it just seems better. Actually, I bring in Tree Folk and then either of them. Starting on my computer, I'm <laughs> trying to help. <laughs> oh, Sammy, you're a good dude. All right, we'll keep this hand. Seems good. All right, we're going to go Vitaspore into Tramper Keeper. You should say hi to Jim in game chat. Be like, hey, Jim. There you go. Look, I did it. Oh, another red deck. Always good. Be like, hey, Jim. Okay, I typed that before he typed to you. Oh, well, there you go. Everybody wins. Look, the universe is a simulation. Hey, Jim, out of curiosity, how much removal do you have? Am I going to be miserable playing against you? Just uh, asking for a friend.
no land, so it's okay. We got a we got a oh look another three black red decks in a row. Didn't attack. I'm not planning on winning these games. The tilt is so real right now. You guys can probably feel it through your monitors. It's gonna let the let a calming wave wash over me. It's okay. We just keep getting dudes. Every turn, a Thalid dude, never a land. It's keeping my apartment warm. <laughs> Chris, you're welcome, buddy. You're welcome. I'm glad to help. Uh, the seething anger is uh, is likely uh, enough to warm many families. Negative one, three, double strike. That's hilarious. This is a creature that has negative one power. That's brilliant. This set was so amazing. This is so freaking awkward. And I'll play another two drop. Thank you for all the two drops. Here's a slaughter pact that we can't cast. How okay are you knowing that all your Groots are bro Groots are brooding and making baby Groots, right? Oh, are you talking about these Groots? <laughs> see, that's funny. That's why we're friends. Oh, you're going to kill my... You guys see. I see. Okay, so theoretically, I could block here. He's going to go to a 1. Which means I'm taking 2 from either of these guys. But this forces you to use your mana at least. Oh, blocking here would force you to use your mana. That's how magic works. Man, I am out of it today for some reason. Let's assume today has not been my finest hour. Oh, we hit a land, boys. Let's name Camarid. Green Camarid. The Camarid is green. I'm going to get a t-shirt that says the Camarid is green. That seems funny to me. I'd laugh. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Shut up and 
and on uh, meandies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can get 15% off and free shipping and free returns. And uh, it helps me, it helps the stream, it helps you, and everybody wins. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate the support.